Today I'm going to share with you how I cook my cabbage. Um, it's going to be cabbage with some carrots. I'm going to add some sweet pepper, uh, some thyme, some scallion, and the only seasoning that I'm going to use um, are going to be black pepper, uh, adobo, and some garlic salt. Uh, I don't really put a lot of uh, these kind of seasonings in my pot. Um, you know, I just try not to go crazy, but be conscious of all the salt that I add into my cooking. Um, <laughs> you hear my critic over there? <laughs> He's watching one of his favorite shows right now. He's getting all excited. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, yeah, so these are the items that I'm going to put in my, my uh, cabbage. What I'm going to have with it is I'm going to cook dumplings. Um, so, no, right, dumpling with my steamed cabbage today. Simple, easy, quick, quick dinner for today. All right, so let me start cutting it up. I'm going to wash it with water and vinegar. Put the pot on the stove. Put just a little oil in it. I had some in there before. I pour some, pour a little bit more. That's good enough. So I'm going to finish washing my cabbage and my carrots. And then once this is hot, I'm going to just pour all of it right in there. So I'm all washed, all washed up. I'm going to put it in the pot now. It's it's hot. Adding my cabbage and carrots to the pot. Beautiful. I'm going to add the seasonings that I showed you before: the adobo, the black pepper and the garlic salt and I'm gonna cover it I'm actually gonna add the thyme in as well and the scallions and the sweet pepper and I'm gonna cover it and let it steam so that I can go and take care of the little one he's getting angsty this is the life of mommy <laughs> alright I'll, let me add the sweet pepper, the thyme, and the scallions. I'm going to use half of the sweet pepper. Um, you see ice on it because I it was frozen. Uh, whenever they're on great sale, I always buy a couple um, and keep some in the refrigerator, in the freezer, for when I need it. Not fresh, but still does what it's supposed to do and it tastes fine uh just you just cut it up and put it in there while it's still frozen in your pot all right and like i said it's mommy life you don't always have the time to go out very often to do what you need to do so when you get the chance you know stock up on whatever it is that you need what you use throughout your days so that you won't have to worry or get frantic when you need those things Alright. Don't go crazy, just be conscious. Pepper. And gonna add the time. There you go. There you go. Look how beautiful. Just spreading the love around. Spreading the love around. There you go. Five. Adobo. Garlic salt. See? I'm pulling them out. Don't need additional salt. And black pepper. That's good enough. Spread the love. Spread the love around. Oops. Spread the love. 
<laughs> All right, puppy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's what I have to do to calm him down sometimes. <laughs> He likes counting and ABCs, so it helps. Yeah, hear him again? <laughs> All right, so I spread the love around in here. I'm going to cover it. It's on low. I'm going to cover it, and then I'm going to let it steam. Some people are wondering, what happened to the pepper, the hot pepper? Well, I won't put any hot pepper in this one um, today because I already have the black pepper. It gave me a little ting, and... You know, my little one is going to eat it. So usually when I cook this particular um, type of veggies in my cabbage, I usually cut the pepper up. But um, I don't want to add any hot pepper in there today. It is basically done. I wish you could smell this. It smells so yummy. Yummy, yummy. Who wants some? Hit the like button if you want some. Drop me a comment. Let me know if you like cabbage. And if you do, how do you cook yours? How do you like it? Alright. Hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. To see more of my videos. Alright. Gonna turn this stove off. And wait for the rest of the food, which is just the dumplings and the uh, potato. Make my dumpling. Get in my flour. Add a little salt. Mix it around. Mix it around to distribute that salt. And then I'm going to knead it with my spoon first. And then once it's become doughy, I'll just knead it with my hand. My left hand, even though I'm a righty. <laughs> my flour is ready to make my dumplings. So, I'm waiting for the water to boil. And as soon as the water boils, I'll put these dumplings in and turn it back down so that it could cook. I'll make them just like I make the spinners but a little bigger so I'll just make them just like this okay so the dumplings in the pot I put a little bit of oil in there so that they won't all stick against each other just like you would with pasta so I'm gonna cover this pot and let it cook and once they float to the top once they all float to the top, it's all done. Won't be too long. All done. All done. I'm gonna share some. There goes my dinner. Hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to see more of my dinner menu.